Hello everyone, this is going to be my Warp Tour 2014 Get Ready With Me. Warped is a tradition for me. This will be actually my third year going. I'm just going to show you how I did this makeup look and what I did to my hair and my outfit of the day. So I guess we're getting pretty serious now because I'm uh, without eyebrows, but what I did to my hair is I just washed it the night before, left it wet, and slept on it. And this is what it turns out to look like in my sleep. I'm so excited, guys. So I have no clips of the makeup. Uh, just letting you know ahead of time and this foundation routine will be sped up because I will have an individual video for it but I'm just going in with my CoverGirl Outlast 3-in-1 Stay Fabulous foundation in Classic Ivory um, and I'm going to blend it out with my Damp Real Techniques complexion sponge which has completely revolutionized the way I use my makeup and um, yeah I'm just dabbing that out and what have you So I usually don't do a full second layer, I just spot conceal, but I really want this to last the distance because I was out for, spoiler alert, about five or six hours in this, and I was sweating my proverbial balls off. So um, yeah, I just added a second layer to the face there, and now we're going in with the NYX HD Photo Concealer in the color Light. Um, even though I don't use dewy foundation just because it wears off and everything, I feel like using the sponge and having that hydration and also highlighting my face has definitely aided to like a more healthy, less flat appearance to my foundation. I'm just so addicted to this concealer this month. I think it's awesome. It it got me off of MAC Pro Longwear, which is amazing. So, And I'm also dabbing out all that concealer with this sponge. Just adding a little extra where I think is needed. And now I'm just using my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder in uh, something or other beige to set the concealer. So now we're going to do the brows, which will also be their own individual video, so yeah, no. But I'm just filling them in as I normally do um, with the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in Chocolate. Um, this is definitely a great product if you go outside a lot and you want your eyebrows to stay on all day because it's completely waterproof. I've been in the rain with it before, again, sweat my balls off. Um, and it looks very natural if you learn how to use it. I also just went over with Anastasia's Clear Brow Gel to, uh, put those hairs in control. So now I'm using the Too Faced Shadow Insurance. I guess not anymore. Um, my eyes are primed, and I'm using Buck in the crease on a Sigma brush as sort of like a transition color to make it easier for me to blend my eyeshadows out. And that was ridiculously blended in there sort of like eye contouring. I don't know. So now we're going in with Naked. Oh, this is all from the Naked One palette, just letting you know. Um, I'm going in with Naked, which is a nice nudie beige shade all over my lid on this Urban Decay brush from the Naked 3 palette. And um, it just, I feel like matte eyeshadows almost make your eyes look more blended, no? Um, I'm going in with Hustle just to darken that up a little bit in the crease. And again, this look is mostly matte, but I had a few sparkly shadows on. But I was in the sun all day, so I'm sure I still looked sparkly. So, you know, it all balances itself out. I believe I was going in with the color Creep. I'm not entirely sure. But um, just a darker eyeshadow just to darken up the look a little bit. And then I blended that out in circular motions and windshield wipers with this up and up crease brush. And then applied um, Foxy from the Naked 2 palette on my brow bone. In the car, maybe like blocks from home, I realized I didn't highlight my inner corner. So it's a lucky day for me that this was a light look. So that's what that looks like finished. And I decided to try to use the Milani iTech Extreme uh, liquid eyeliner pen for the first time. Don't try things for the first time when you're going somewhere important. But um, I eventually set off that and uh, decided to go over it with my new trusty Wet n Wild H2O proof, is it called? I don't know. It comes in the really cheesy looking bottle, but it's a liquid eyeliner. And um, it was a bit of a learning curve because I hadn't used liquid liner in so long and then I ran off my expensive one and yada da da da. Anyway, I accidentally grabbed um, Black Sparkle instead of just black, but. Um, I think it looks fine with the look, kind of jazzed it up a little bit. Jazzes it up a little bit? I don't know. So again, I just 
drew on the line on my eyelid and then started doing a wing. And since this brush is um, so, it's like the perfect size for your lid on one side when it's flat, but the side creates a perfect point to your wing because it's so thin. It's awesome. And it was only $3, so like, what, what are we losing here? So, in case you have any mistakes, a Q-tip is great with liquid, eye uh, liquid eyeliner. Um, that's just what I was fixing there. And then I put the Rimmel Scandal Eyes Iacajal, Icol, whatever the hell the thing's named, um, on the outer rim of my eyelid. And now I'm tight lining, which is why I made those stupid faces. I have sneeze. Hit. <laughs> that was awesome. So anyway... Um, I'm contouring with Benefit's Hoola Bronzer um, and blending that out extremely well with uh, a, a Kabuki brush because I don't know about you, but like when I'm around dudes, I'm extremely self-conscious that like something isn't blended because for some reason, like dudes seem to think that unblended anything is like a sign that you're fake, but if you blend it, they won't realize you have makeup on. Magic. Um, I'm also contouring my nose. I, I did my cheekbone, jawline, uh, forehead, temples, that's what I'm looking for, and my nose. So now I'm curling my eyelashes in preparation for the globs of mascara that are to ensue. I'm using Tarte's Gifted Mascara and wiggling that through. A lot of this footage got cut off because I was making really stupid faces. Um, we're also applying a little bit of that to the bottom lashes where you put that eyeliner, um, Sing in Melrose Diner, and I'm putting a coat of the falsies as well, just because my eyelashes were not, like, separated as I wanted them to be. Um, so yeah, I also went in with Gifted one more time, but I guess that got cut out. I'm using NARS's Deep Throat Blush on a Tarte Blush Brush and Duck Face Jammin'. And then I'm highlighting with Wet n Wild's To Reflect palette, as I usually do. Pretty much over the places where I put the concealer, just for a little added shimmer. And then I used my old trusty MAC Please Me lipstick. This is my Holy Grail everyday, all the time lipstick. That is completely rolled up. That is how much I have left of it. And then I just blend that up with my finger. At this point I look in the mirror and tell myself I'm fierce and no one can mess with me. Outfit! So... First, I'm using Perfume, which is um, the Bath & Body Works Wild Mango one. Um, the shirt and skirt are from Forever 21, and this flannel is from H&M. I also use some uh, knockoff Vans from Payless, and the sunglasses are also from Forever 21. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked this. Bye!